Hey folks, it's me, M64Bros, and yeah, I'm aware of the Nintendo updated community guidelines. I'm already seeing some people upset and triggered about this, but unlike the complainers that usually jump straight to conclusions, I actually read the entire guidelines and I understood it. A user named Robert Walker showed us Nintendo has made some small but noticeable adjustments to their content guidelines for content creators such as streamers and YouTubers. If these creators intend to keep making Nintendo content and earn revenue from their efforts, they'll have to make sure they follow the Big N's latest set of guidelines. While there are a handful of twerks and changes, there are two adjustments that are considerably different from the previous sets of guidelines. Those changes are as follows. Content containing action that may be considered to impair the gameplay experience in multiplayer modes is now banned. Nintendo reserves the right to no longer allow the use of Nintendo games content if variations are found. As for the last one it mentions, as we mentioned, there were also other changes made to content creators guidelines as well. I have also read some honest people's reaction to this situation, and from the looks of it, they told me a bunch of good points. Along with, and unlike the complainers that jumped straight to conclusions and are freaking out 24-7, they actually read the entire guidelines information and they actually understood it respectfully and understandably. The other reason why I'm assuming they're doing this is because they want people to avoid spoilers. For example, if someone gets Mario and Luigi Brothership earlier and starts uploading spoilers on YouTube, Nintendo can take those down instantly and I rather avoid spoilers and wait until the game's out so I can play it for myself, along with many others as well. So there's an understandable reason why they're updating their community guidelines for YouTube. But I can rest assured for the most of the Nintendo YouTubers, they will be fine just the way they are. Before I end this video slash topic, I'm going to be uploading a video later this month called The Problems with Criticizing Nintendo. Now, just for the record, I'm on both sides as always. Respect their developers and employees, but I despise their DMCA legal team and weird business decisions. However, while I was looking up some of the criticism, I noticed that some people want Shigeru Moto gone or dead thinking he doesn't like stories wanting Sakurai dead or sending death threats to him during the Smash community, attack anyone for owning a Switch, and a whole lot more I've discovered. I'm planning on launching a video later this month. Not just Nintendo, but I've discovered the same thing happened with Insomniac Games, Sega, and a ton of vanity projects as proof that companies should follow their own path rather than listening to the wrong fans that can easily affect the IP. The thing is, we should be more careful, along with looking up more information accurately because by the end of the day, it could be our faults as well.